Super awesome modification number 675.3. This is the Model T transmission, the hog's head as they call it. And uh, I've already had this off, clean this up. Um, there's supposed to be a gasket between here. So I pulled it off and this was all uh, pretty, you see pretty scaly, crusty, rusty. So I just kind of cleaned that up. Um, I'll show you guys if this works. Um, down in the transmission, need out of light. Down in the transmission here. So this one here is the brake. So that's the furthest one back. And that, uh, just the brake that breaks the attaches to the drive shaft. Uh, the middle one here, that is the reverse. So that tightens up the front band on the three here. And then this is your normal drive, which I, there you go. So you see that middle one? Might be having too much movement here. Everyone's getting sick on the side. Anyway, but, uh, so that's your uh, low speed. And then, uh, as of right now, I've got the clutch lever all the way ahead. So if you look in this area right here, I'll pull that back. So that would be when it's in neutral. And then if you pull it back, there's a parking brake. But those are the parts that move inside the transmission down in here. So let me see if I can uh, set you guys back up here where it's easier to see. And I can try to put the rest of this together. Because what I've got is, like I said, super awesome. That the light is readjusting itself for us. Super awesome modification here. Um, one of the things most people recommend on these Model T's is to put a screen in the transmission because um, it's your engine oil. It's kind of like a motorcycle where your engine oil and the transmission oil are the same. So you end up getting a screen, and the screen I bought also came with a uh, with a magnet. So if you look at here, they've got these extra holes punched in here. It's really what this, you put a gasket, the normal gasket below, you put this pan in here, and the uh, the flywheel for the engine dips down in the oil, and then it throws oil up, which then it runs down the top side of this transmission case. It'll fall on here. Um, this should drip it uh, on top of those bands. I was kind of showing stuff moving before, so you can keep your bands oiled. Uh, also has this magnet so it'll pick up any uh, metallic, well let's just say any steel, any steel or cast because uh, obviously if there's you know bearing material it probably, if it's not cast or steel it won't, whatever's not magnetic I guess it won't pick up. Um, so you, know, you put this on, another gasket on top, and put your bolts back in and what it should do is any of the brake braking material on those bands that's mixed in with the oil. Um, as it comes down here, it'll get caught in this screen, and it should then, uh, you know, we should be able to take this every every year probably. I'll take the cover off, and then just clean this out, see what's all what's all in there. So um, the instructions here um, tell you that you should put uh, RTV gasket sealer on both sides of the gaskets. So you put a gasket on top and bottom. So you got four layers of RTV. I'm going to skip that. It says to put grease um, on the top side of it. So the gasket on top. Let me grab some gaskets quick. Hold on. So you end up with one gasket, one gasket under, one gasket over, and you put your uh, screen on top. Let's see, that doesn't look it's quite right. I didn't realize these things were uh, not symmetrical. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, that or it's just a crappy gasket. There you go. That one, like that one will fit like that. All right, so you put that on, that on, that on. It looks again like, oh, I thought this was nice Looks better there. And then you put your cover back on. And what they want to do is they want, uh, it sounds like they want the gaskets to stick to the screen and not to the original parts of the car. So you put, uh, you put your RTV on top. Well, you put RTV on both sides of this, both sides of both gaskets. Then they want you to put grease on top of this, and then grease on the sealing surfaces of this, and you put it together, and it's supposed to still seal, but then not stick. And uh, I'm, 
this gasket seems relatively compliant, even though they got a pretty good gap between these screws. I'm going to try it. If it leaks real bad, I'll clean it up and then try the RTV. Maybe it's one of those deals where you got one shot to do the RTV before it, uh, you know, I think it's saturated with oil. But it uh, looks like the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be getting all these holes to line up. Looks like there's not a not a real easy. Uh, let's, first, let's do the deal. If it uh, see if it makes sense. If it's symmetrical, so it looks like they all line up there. This way here, yeah, they do line up. Looks like whoever whoever uh, got they got these gaskets from either Langs or Snyder's or one of those online ones, and looks like it's cut really nice though. Hmm, I don't know what that I don't know what that pencil line is on there for, but. Uh, anyway, looks looks good there. And then we'll put this piece on. It doesn't really say where the magnet's supposed to go. The magnet was actually when it came with the set here was up on top where the four holes are punched in. I don't think that's the spot you want it though. Maybe I don't know. It's all it's all kind of it's just kind of it might be hard to see in the picture here in the video, but it all kind of angles back. So I don't I don't think that uh, you know. Well, no oil is going to sit on here and run back in without hitting the magnet. So I think coming over here, um, I don't know, maybe eh, it doesn't fit really well that way. I'm just going to put her kind of in the middle there. So we should be able to get the oil, should run around both sides. Yeah. I'm sure once it's driving, it'll kind of whittle it or wiggle its way down into the bottom anyway. So let's put this back on. This doesn't seem like that's, definitely seems like these gaskets have a, a side that works better than the other. That looks like it works better there. Like I said, I am not, again, following the directions as provided. I'm just going to try these gaskets without, without RTV. Just realize that uh, when, when it leaks all over the place, and I'm using the original screws, we've got another thickness of metal in there and uh, a second gasket. But I'm still thinking that maybe it'll be... If I get a couple of threads in there, just enough that I can, you know, twist them off. Probably be the best. Strip it out, twist them off. Let's see here, this doesn't seem like it's really. Oh, there you go. That's. I probably should get some longer screws. But it feels like I got a good thread, thread and a half, on cast iron, and it's not really a. Other than holding this gasket down. Not really doing a whole lot of anything, so structurally, I think as long as it doesn't rattle loose, and I gotta pull this off again probably next fall in our season of driving on it and try it again. So, there we go. So, it didn't drop any parts in the transmission yet. Got the screen on. Seems like everything is there. Let me grab a screwdriver. Gonna do the uh, good and tight method. Probably, I think I'll do it in a kind of a torque sequence here. Yeah, like the middle one here. Another corner. Yeah, this looks like this must. I'm sure there's a sequence you're supposed to use. I'm going to do it in two, two stage, maybe a three stage. Probably best to, hard to tell if it's, it's really sealing. And there's a little bit of a ridge all the way around this part, but then these bolts are a half inch out or screws are a half inch out. So I'm not sure how much force you're actually getting to compress that gasket, but all right, so let's go back to the sequence again. A little more, a little more tighter wrist. There, there. Definitely highly calibrated left hand here. Uh, let's see. Do we go back here? Then we go back here. Now. Maybe I'll switch to the right for the last torque sequence. That should be a little more difficult here. Let me get my shadows in the way. All right, so this is good and tight. I don't think that was my wrist clicking. You that it was torqued out. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
five and six. Okay, so I think that's going to be good. Looks like there's a, I don't think it's stainless steel, so I, I think that's going to end up maybe rusting. We'll see. At least you can kind of tell. You can tell that it's got it in there, I guess. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll put the floor in. Yeah, that one door really. Uh, okay, so let me move you guys into a spot here where you can see the floor going in. Pretty cool in this uh, tripod just smacks onto the floor. All right, hmm, that isn't gonna work too either, is it? There's not really a lot of good spots here to set you guys up. We'll we'll do the do the other side here. The um, start this way. This might work. Oh, this would be perfect. You guys will be able to see like like there's no tomorrow here. All right. Okay, this would be the best spot here and you'll see most of it you'll be fine you'll be fine close this up oh, right there oh, focus focus oh there you go okay so this is how the floor goes in we're gonna drop all the boards on the floor there you go so the way this is set up there's a slot there's a slot on the far end, and that goes, that's why I've got it in neutral. So that goes over the far end. You set that down in. And the reverse lever. Just as easy as that. In the next sequence, you've got a, a back half behind the pedals. You see the uh, little notches there? So that goes in. Set that in there. And then the front section. And I've got a little, like the trim on the back, so I gotta kinda put it in front wise first. Let me get you guys set up here. So I've got a section back here that uh, if I put it up here, it doesn't fit in right, so you gotta kinda sneak it underneath this. The very few parts of the interior that are actually in here. Sneak it up in there and put that on. So let me grab the floor mat. That's the next, uh, you know, for this super finished upholstery interior here. Yeah, I am not sure if these things all came with the floor mat or if uh, I'm guessing they did, but uh, I would not be surprised if these things just came with wood floors too. Uh, I don't really know. If anybody knows, put a little note down in the comments below there we go. or if you got a link or something where we can go find some more information I could probably google it too but you guys gotta do some of the work I can't I can't do all the work all right so we're just setting this all down um, this right here actually is the electric start so you gotta make gotta be careful kind of as you're driving that your foot doesn't uh, accidentally set on this because that would not be good if your starter was running the whole entire time you were trying to drive it all right, well, there it is. So I've got the screen in. And uh, if you guys stick around, maybe subscribe next uh, next fall. You can wait a whole year. Um, I'll pull the cover off and see what kind of accumulation we've got in there. There is no, there's no uh, odometer, so we don't really know how many, you know, how many miles that would be. But a lot of little short trips, so I'll have some. We haven't had a kid or mission in a while, so... Here's the safety device. The brake has a block of wood and the uh, gas pedal doesn't, right? You're gonna stay away from the shed so you don't hit the shed. All right. Hmm, fingers crossed. I don't think it's going to make it up the hill. Oh, maybe. Real close to the shed, close to the chicken coop. Oh well, I need something to fix later. Okay, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and uh, more to come.